Hey all! Hope everyone's doing well during this pandemic. Anyway, today I'm planning to make some crispy, delicious egg puffs, which my family and friends all love it. I will show you step by step instructions on how to do this delicious snack, which you can enjoy with your family and friends with tea or coffee. And、um, yeah, I hope you love it as much as my family and I do. Let's get cooking. So, I've taken、um, four medium sized onions here, and you have to slice them in very thin slices. Very thin slices so that you can fry them really well. So, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, it's like really thin. Let me show you one. Very thin slices. And then we're gonna fry them. So, let me get this onions all cut and sliced, and I'll be back. So, I've got all the onions sliced here. Now, this goes into the pan. So, here I have a non stick pan. To this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of coconut oil. Pan should be nice and hot, and once the oil is nice and hot, you can add the sliced onions. You can see it's nice and thin, thinly sliced onions. It is quite time consuming because you need to be patient to be able to make sure these onions are fried nicely. It will take some time for these onions to get nice and caramelized and soft. To this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt or any kind of salt you have. You can add there. Now, you're adding the salt to the onions,、um, which helps the onions to get. Sauteed quicker. While the onions are getting sauteed and caramelized,、um, I've got a big tomato here. It's quite a big size. It's a beef steak tomato. Or if you have any other tomato like Roma tomatoes or just normal tomatoes, just take two of those. We need、um, two medium size or one large tomato. So I'm just gonna slice these as well. The size should be good. You don't need to be particular about the size of the tomatoes because these are going to get melted as you keep frying them. As you can see, the onions are getting like lightly golden brown. So it's getting there. Now, once it's in this stage, it will continue to get caramelized and sauteed. Um, to this, you can add one tablespoon,、uh, yeah, one tablespoon of ginger paste. And one tablespoon of garlic paste. Stir it on nicely, let it get roasted. Probably saute it with the ginger garlic paste for about a minute or two so that you don't get the raw taste of the ginger garlic. So the ginger garlic paste has been getting sauteed and the last. Two minutes or so, and it's looking nice and 
fresh scent almost done so now the next step is we are going to add some spices to it so here's my spice box which I love <laughs> so I'm going to add probably one approximate one tablespoon of red chili powder and two tablespoon of coriander and just a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder give it all a nice mix For just a few seconds because um, you don't want the spices to burn and then we are going to add the sliced tomatoes which will help release these things which are sticking on the pan so it's very important that you add the spices before you add the tomatoes because uh, once you add the tomatoes it doesn't roast the spices really well that's what I find so I always add the spices before I add the tomatoes because that gives me the satisfaction that it my spices are all nicely roasted oh yeah I forgot um, we need to add some garam masala as well so I've got just a quarter teaspoon of garam masala. It's nothing but mixed spices um, you can get in the store. In any Indian store, you can find garam masala. Yeah, this looks good. Feels like I can see some oil shining through the spices, which gives me the idea that the spices are nicely roasted. And then in goes the tomatoes. And you want the tomatoes to be nice and mushy so leave it for a few minutes and come back to it so as you can see the tomatoes are all mushy there are some still quite firm like these ones you want these all nice and mushy so so you want to keep stirring it until it's nice and shiny and the oil starts releasing Just a few more minutes you need to get this um, fried. Trust me, this is a really delicious dish. Once you see the end product, you know, you would be in awe. If you have to go into the store, you know, you don't know what all they add. So you are cooking this from scratch and it's, you know what you're eating. It's healthy and um, so yeah. I hope you like it as much as uh, me and my family loves it. So this is done. I can see the oil bubbling in here. Can you see? Um, and other places. I didn't put too much oil to make sure that it's healthy. So yeah, um, I'm going to switch it off and then go into the next stage of um, getting the pastry ready. I'll be back. So next um, I have some puff pastry which I got from the store and uh, we are going to roll that out and cut into pieces. It comes as uh, frozen uh, but I kept it outside and it's thawed nicely and it's nice and soft. So let's take it out and roll it out. So it comes in a sheet like this and you roll it out nicely. So I've got the puff pastry here all opened up and I've got another sheet of that um, which it came in. So I'm going to put that on top and then roll it out a bit to make sure that it's all nice and even. Just roll it out with a rolling pin. 
don't press too hard because you don't want to take those layers of puff pastry out you just are making sure that it's nice and flat because it comes in a folded stage so that's the reason why we are getting this rolled out I'm just being gentle here and just rolling it out slowly I want to cut these in four strips at first, so I'll first go halfway. And then half of that. You want squares, that's what you're looking for. And I'm gonna cut these into three pieces. So. just get approximate squares they are not perfect but <laughs> we'll manage okay now I have a few boiled eggs here which I'm going to cut them into half and then um, put them onto the pastry now we are putting this all together so here's the masala which we just prepared the eggs and the puff pastry here so we're going to cut the eggs into perfect halves and I'll show you a trick where you use just a piece of thread which I have and then you put it on there and then you just pull it and it comes out perfectly half. How's that? Isn't that cool? Okay, so this uh, the knives usually don't do a good job, I find. So I usually use a thread and then pull it. Okay, so next step is we'll take some of this. Um, I, I'm taking a fork because it helps to um, spread it out nicely. Just take one tablespoon of masala, spread it out into each square. Now you can adjust the spices and all um, into this according to your taste so if you like very spicy you can add some green chilies or you can add uh, more red chili powder you know, it depends upon your taste level I made it uh, medium because I have family at home who don't eat very hot food so you can adjust the heat level as per your taste Okay, so I've got all the uh, masala in the pastry all set. So just make sure that you have it in the center, nicely spread a thin layer of the masala. And the next step is you just take these um, boiled eggs, cut into half, put it upside down in a diagonal way. I'll tell you why. Okay, so the next step is you take one corner and then take the opposite corner and then pinch it. Just pinch it there and take the other corner and the other corner and pinch it. So when you put the egg in a diagonal way, it helps to stay in the proper place. And just pinch it in the center and that's about it you want these portions to be open uh, because it will get cooked nicely inside as well so you do to all of these and uh, the next step is it even goes um, into the oven before one more last step we'll come back to that So I've got a baking tray here and into that I'm going to add a parchment paper and then add these egg puffs on the parchment paper so that it doesn't stick in the oven. Okay, so the next step is we're going to add um, some egg wash. We're going to do the egg wash. So for that I've got an egg here. I'm going to feed it really well. OK, 
Okay, so I've got a beaten egg here and I've got the brush here and I'm gonna just um, lightly brush on top of the egg puffs. The reason why you're doing this, it helps to brown the top of the puffs and also get it nice and crispy. So while I'm um, doing the egg wash on the egg puffs, I'm, I've switched on the oven and um, it's preheating now. So the temperature it has to go in is 380 degrees for 20 minutes. So once it's 380, my egg puffs will be ready to go in the oven. So meanwhile, while it's preheating, let me finish up with the egg wash. So the oven is preheated to 380 degrees. And I'm going to get these egg puff babies in the oven. So in it goes for 20 minutes. I'll be back in 20 minutes to check on them with you. Okay, so it's ready out of the oven now. It's all sizzling hot. And it doesn't stick because I put it on the parchment paper. So it's nice and done. I'll just cut one and show you inside. Nice and crispy. Oh, I'll just taste a piece and tell you how it tastes. Isn't that looking good? Oh, it's really hot. Yeah, give it a try and um, let me know how you like it. Um, just egg puffs for a mid-afternoon um, snack for you guys. Um, hope you enjoy this video. Let me give it a taste and let you know how it tastes. Hmm, very hot. <laughs> Mm. it's absolutely yummy you have to give it a try oh gosh i have to serve this to my family now so here's the final product um, you can enjoy with your family you can see all the layers of um, the puff pastry and uh, it just has crisp so nicely and um, it tastes really good so uh, give it a try also, I will be making another video where I will be trying to do this in an air fryer, like cooking it in the air fryer and seeing how it comes out. So let's see um, the next time I make this, I'm going to make it in the air fryer. And also in the air fryer, you can make smaller quantities if you have um, small families where you want to make just like maybe five or six pieces. That's about it. So um, that is another option, you know, why you can make... Um, in the air fryer so yeah then until next time thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed it if you did please um give it a like and a subscribe your uh, my channel if you haven't and uh, hope um you have a great day bye for now